or your ABC Big 2 local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some pretty mild conditions out there for this evening and clear skies. We can see our little planet popping up again out there as evidenced by those clear conditions right now, at least not seeing too much in the way of cloud cover and some pretty mild temperatures. So if you do want to get out there and enjoy the stars and maybe stargaze a little bit this evening, should be a nice night for that, at least for the near future. Not a whole lot of cloud cover out there and warm temperatures mean it will be very comfortable. And thanks to our Sky Tracker Network in Midland, a good look at those conditions out there and switching over here to our satellite and radar you can see that these clouds are parting for now but there is a little more cloud cover on the way from southeast New Mexico now that's gonna hurry up and track into our viewing area for too long so if you do want to get out there and enjoy the stars I'd say do so here pretty shortly uh, give yourself a little bit of time in between those clear clear conditions now as we get to tomorrow morning temperatures are gonna be pretty nice a little warmer in fact than the 40s that we reached earlier today our low temperature down to 40 42 degrees coming in a good 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. But check out our high temperatures picking up to 83 degrees for our high 23 degrees above normal and actually breaking a high temperature record for this time of year. 1953 was when we set that record. So almost 70 years we've seen that record stand, but we beat it, we beat it by a good three degrees just today. So very warm conditions there in terms of our lows and especially our highs. But don't get used to it because we are going to start cooling down here sooner than later. Now wind speeds are at 11 miles per hour right now, but generally still coming in out of the west. And that's a big reason why we warmed up so much earlier today. That westerly wind pattern pulling in a lot of warmer air. As we get to 12 midnight though, notice starting to change up our wind arrows a little bit. And you can see Guadalupe Pass picking up fairly substantially thanks to some gap winds beginning to take hold. Now they'll stay in place all through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning as well by about 11 a.m. Notice still looking at those pinks and purplish colors indicating wind speeds gusting up to about 60 miles per hour through the Guadalupe Pass. And here in the basin, we'll see wind speeds hanging around 15, 20, 25 miles per hour as well. So a very windy day, but we're also seeing a change in wind direction. You can see those wind arrows pointing in out of the north for most of the day, switching to a northeasterly direction, which will do a good job of pulling in some cooler air and dropping our temperatures down over what we saw today. Now, high temperatures taking a dip down into the upper 60s, still coming in above average, but definitely a little cooler than what we saw today with that record-breaking heat. And we've also got strong winds on the way, especially in the Guadalupe Pass. We've got a high wind warning issued by the National Weather Service for Culberson County expiring at 9 a.m. So be careful out there driving around, especially through the higher elevations and even here in the basin. Now, those winds will calm down a little bit by Friday, further by Saturday as temperatures continue to decline. 68 the high tomorrow, 65 Friday and 61 Saturday before starting to recover a little bit for the start of the work week next week. Mm, okay. Sun's out this weekend. Yes, indeed. I'm excited about it. A yeah. beautiful Sunday to stay indoors and watch the Super Bowl. You know, not a bad plan right there. Get you some snacks. Yeah, and you, like you got five days to do your 